Welcome back to the Orange Zone, presented by Metro Metro. We're back here on the Orange Zone, right here on NBC3, presented by Metro Mattress. First and foremost, Coach Casulo, thanks for joining us as always. Good to be back. And we've got you and Damian breaking down a play that gave Orange fans a glimmer of hope. Terrell Eskridge, the pick six. Take it away, guys. What do you see here? Well, we have a, you have a little Mike, Mike Wilk stunt coming inside. Actually, Mike Sam, rather. They're showing him up the, off the weak side like he's going to come, but he's not. He's, he's bailing back a little bit, just enough to make the protection slide the wrong way, then Darrell just does a great job reading the quarterback. Golston looked at the, looked it down the whole way. We talked last week, make Golston make reads in the mm -hmm. pocket. He wasn't great mm -hmm. at doing that at times. And Darrell did a great job just reading his eyes. His eyes never come off the receiver as soon as he gets the ball, and Darrell flies right down the hill to it. You know, the defense took a few uh, in the media hits, you know, and fan hits. Mm -hmm. But when you look at what they did in this football game, they did one heck of a job. I mean, they're, they they're, they're woefully undersized up front. So Schaefer and Chuck Buller, they got they got to make mix and match. They got to bring four or five off the weak side, off the back side. They got to bring six. They got to show six, bring five, peel one back. They did a great job of disguising their defenses, and this is a result of that. And look at that, right there, there you go. They got seven guys in the box. They're bringing six, they drop the one guy off. Darrell cuts in front and makes the interception and goes back for six. What I also know is about Golston, they have seven to block, only six to come. Correct. He's throwing hot for no reason. Yep. That's exactly that's, right. That's him not understanding yep. coverage well, like, like, and blitz protection. It's a great job by Schaefer and Blow yep. acknowledging that. But he's throwing hot for no reason. They don't need to throw hot nope. on that. They have enough people to and attack. And we said that last week. If we keep him in the pocket, you know, he's got to make these quick, fast decisions, right. and, he, and he can't do it. He's better with his legs than he is with his Absolutely. arm. Absolutely, and, and it shows there. And I yep. thought that was a great call. You know, and this put us back in the game. It I did. mean, you make it's the two-point conversion. It's an 11-point game, which is two scores. And, right. and, you know, who knows from there? You know, is, and I, one question I want to ask you guys, you know, uh, from both being coaches and whatnot, you know, you get a play like this, it gets you back mm -hmm. in, but there's so many turnovers that this defense had and they couldn't get turnover yeah. turned into points. As a defense, does that get frustrating at some point or do you just kind of keep your nose to the grindstone sort of thing? Or? I mean, it's part of the game because in some games offensively, you're scoring points, scoring points, and you can't get a stop on defense. So you can't. If you start having that collide, then you're not, you're not a unified team. No, and the other, thing, the other thing I've been saying too is you need a kicker. You right. need a kicker. We have to find a kicker yeah. that can put three points on the board. You yeah. got five turnovers. Even if you get four field goals out of five, that's 12 extra points. Yeah. Change that's things. 12 extra points. In a 16 points. point game. So you got to get close enough to get in field goal right. range. And then the field goal kicker's got to be good enough so that Coach Schaefer is, has the confidence in right. not going for it. And Coach McDonald has confidence in the play calling. You don't have to protect one individual. Take the three points, and at the end of the game, those points add up. No you, know, say, you, always, you always hear people talk about, you know, we want to protect certain linemen here yeah. and there. But you, you got to protect the kicker at times, yeah. too. You don't want him kicking, trying to kick 40-plus yard field goals. Right. That. We're not, that's not a strength right now. So play calling, it changes it because you're trying to get a first down yep. or at least get close enough. Yep. Hopefully Sterling Hoffrichter, he's a commit for next year. Hopefully he's the guy next year. But that's next year. We still got eight games this year. We, we do. Yeah. I'm not looking ahead. I'm Pick just a saying. guy, go out there with him, and let's see what he can do. We'll see what happens. I mean, he had good trajectory. He had good leg. Yeah. And then, but the other thing, you look at the PAT that was was blocked. Uh -huh. The offensive line broke down. Right. You know, they they, they just had constant breakdowns, right. and yeah. and that hurt. You know, that changes how Hunt plays the game. Mm -hmm. That changes how calling running plays. It changes the whole context of the game. You know, for a play caller, it makes it because now, like Damian says, now you're calling plays to protect people instead of calling plays to advance the ball down the field. And it, it becomes frustrating as a coach. 